This week on LCTV News, we highlight the Grand Army of the Republic Hall. The hall is filled with memorabilia from the Civil War, Revolutionary War, and the Korean War. Here's Ryan Bedard with more on the hall. The Grand Army of Republic Museum is an amazing relic in itself, housing all sorts of uniforms, guns, and documents from the Civil War. Established in 1866 on 58 Andrews Street, this museum holds a telling history of the involvement of Lynn in the Civil War. Bob Mathias, museum director, informs us on the many books shelved in the museum library. The library has uh, thousands of books on the Civil War period, including the official volume, uh, a 60, 162 set volume of the uh, uh, Civil War soldiers and sailors. A Nahant native was responsible for the many books the library holds. Those books we discovered were from uh, our senator in 1901, Henry Cabot Lodge, who had a house in Nahant. And he used to visit these veterans quite a lot. And so he got to know them real well. And so it was because of him we have those books. The, the room across from the library, uh, we, we actually have an old Civil War flag and it was one of the last ones to fly over Richmond, Virginia, the capital of the South. And that was given to the ladies' post from here in 1887. We also have a 58 caliber Enfield musket, uh, which is pretty interesting. It was the first idea of having the musket actually groove. Uh, prior to the Civil War, the, uh, they would use smoothbore, which are basically round balls. But during the Civil War, they came up with the idea of having these uh, bullets that had rings on them. And the three rings would adhere to the inside of the barrel when you, when you shot the rifle. Women played a major role during the Civil War and the museum took notice of that. We entered the room on the right would be uh, dedicated to the ladies post. And they were quite strong here. Um, in fact, they're the ones that got us the books. They, they came up with the idea of, uh, in that bookcase is to fill it with books, uh, to have Frank and Bean suppers in the basement and the price of admission was one book. So that's how we filled up the bookcase. As you make your way through the woman's post, you walk into the entrance of the main hall. This work of art boasts 1,243 photographs of veterans on the walls. Residents use the museum to find relatives who may have participated in the war. A lot of people will give me a call and they'll ask me, do you have my relative here? And sometimes we get lucky and we'll find somebody's relative. And sometimes uh, we'll find a photograph. And so people get very excited about that. I can't tell you how many people have come up here and you know, they just basically go head over heels when they find out that their great, great grandfather's on the walls. The museum also houses some original uniforms, including a uniform worn by Colonel John Brooks, the third governor of Massachusetts in the Revolutionary War. One from the War of 1812, a drummer boy from the Civil War, and a red uniform belonging to the first call. We have a uniform, a red uniform, that belonged to what we call the first call. And that was a North Shore uh, Massachusetts regiment uh, that went down through Baltimore to Washington, D.C. to guard the Capitol. The Grand Army of the Republic Museum is on 58 Andrews Street in Lynn, and you can book appointments by calling 781-477-7085.